She's like, okay, I need your passports. I need your passports. I'm like, listen, I'm not giving you this passport until this situation is sorted. Like, you know, we asked three times. You literally lied to our face. I'm a little bit disheveled, folks. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news. And part of the personal news is going to be explaining to you why I'm disheveled. Because you might have noticed this is a different background than the than the hostage situation that I was in before, right? You were like, oh, Hassan, what's up? Are you in a hostage situation? What's going on? Yeah, um, that hostage situation was a luxurious hotel that was uh, significantly better than this one. I'm in a current, and I'm not even joking right now. I'm in some random Croatian island because my brother was like, we have to get on the boat. We have to get on the boat. We have to go on a boat and then, and, you know, go all to all the islands. And I was just like, dude, I don't care. Like the, the, the water is the same water. It doesn't matter where we go. It, it literally does not matter where we go. It's the same goddamn water. And he was like, no, nah, we're going to go to the islands. And it's like, all right, whatever. Fuck it. Sure. Let's go to the islands. And the problem is... <laughs> The problem is like the islands are, they're islands, you know, they're just, they're not exactly super developed. And I knew that I was going to have an issue, right? I knew that I was going to have an issue if I got on that mother boat and then got into a random island and like booked a hotel there. So I did. Okay. I did. Also, I saw Asanabi head out here, which is insane to me. It, of course, he wasn't Croatian. He was American. But anyway, where do I begin? Last night I end the broadcast. Get up in the morning, get on a ferry, very exciting stuff. You know me, I love public transit. In Croatia, they've perfected it. They literally got public transit on catamarans, which is pretty crazy. It's, it's just like you don't expect that. Because a catamaran is like a yacht, and these motherfuckers are using yachts like a bus. You're so lucky to be able to travel and spend time with your family. I wish I was able to take my family on trips like you do too. Yeah. The reason why I'm able to do that is because I love working. And I wish I could explain that to my family. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. anyway, listen, you should live in Croatia. The public transit that goes between the islands off the coast is so robust and competent. It's insane. Yeah, there's like two different. There's two different lines that like go between the islands and shit, which is crazy. It's just like a sequence of islands. It's not supposed to work, but it does. Like one of the islands that you go, one of the islands that you go to, there's just no chicken. Like, for example, because like, what are you going to do? Is a straight up island yeah they just they don't have chicken on the island they didn't get any poultry delivered anyway so i get on the the boat with the fam and lo and behold it's the shittiest goddamn day thunderstorms last night raining the entire morning raining the entire day worst day to get on a boat okay i'm like here we go it's all good i'm gonna use this as an opportunity to get my elden ring out of the way which i did you know i two tap market not a big deal also here's the ferry let me show you guys the ferry luxurious okay and then this is the boat the weather is so bad right it's just so freaking bad you can't even tell how bad the weather looks there because like you can't tell that it's raining i guess but it was raining anyway we finally get to this other island i called up ahead of time and this island has like one like really nice hotel right i book it we call the hotel twice beforehand to be like here's what the demands are we need wireless internet or at least like ethernet cable we need a steady upload like it needs to be at least six megabits per second or maybe you know higher right it demands like as in do you have these availabilities if not we're gonna keep looking right like obviously most people have no clue what any of this shit means i know that already uh, this is not my first rodeo but this in this situation the concierge slash like lady who runs this boutique hotel because it's a island so most of the hotels are like boutique as hell just straight up says oh 160 megabits down and 80 up not even a question like i was like oh jesus like oh never mind like this is we're popping like we just found a and we found like a real internet head you know what i mean like that's great she knows the terminology and everything okay two different times we checked we get in on the island i get to the hotel the hotel is like really nice really really nice i mean it's incredible it's a boutique hotel but it's like really cool right it's just a lie this lady is literally 50 years old she has never in her life even like she doesn't know what an upload rate is she doesn't know what bandwidth is she just finessed my ass and this is an expensive ass hotel too so i'm like 
yo lady i'm looking at this right now i'm i'm like look at my phone this is called internet speed test by the way for those of you saying oh that's the staff internet speed no shot that's the custom internet speed no there is no staff internet speed in croatia okay in croatia every place that i've been to they just don't even have passwords on the internet it's kind of crazy it's very different out here okay let me tell you uh, uh, listen 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 i took a screenshot of this shit because it was so goddamn bad yeah the upload on this hotel was 140 1.40 not 140 megabits 1.40 megabits per second i was like lady what the fuck do you want me to do with this are you insane now it doesn't even matter it doesn't end there and on top of that they got a firewall up in this bitch i was like why is there a firewall like i can't even log on to the twitch servers like what the hell is going on and then i realized something even more sinister not only did the firewall render me unable to actually get on obs and, and and stream but also on top of that get this the firewall blocks out airbnb hotels.com and numerous other websites that are compet like that show competitors like what kind of in insanity is this shit dude like they decided like i'm finessing you mother like we don't want to price we don't want you price checking we don't want you looking at the website to figure out what the prices are like chill lady yeah it's just like everything is blocked all these like review sites are blocked and shit anyway i'm annoyed i'm like lady we asked you like eight times that's the first question i asked when i came here like please you know destroy this firewall and also we got to figure out what this upload rate looks like so this old lady that's running the boutique hotel is like, hold on one minute, okay? I get manager, I get IT. <sighs> she gets the IT on and, I, and she still hasn't gotten my passport at this point, right? Like she, so she hasn't logged me in. She gives me the room key, but she hasn't like checked me in yet. And I'm just like, and she hasn't swiped because they tried to swipe, but because it's an international purchase, my bank blocked that shit. So they're like, hey, your card has been declined. You know, we got to swipe you again. So I'm, I'm right now, I'm sitting pretty. I'm in the clear, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the clear. She's like, okay, I need your passports. I need your passports. I'm like, listen, I'm not giving you this passport until this situation is sorted. Like, I'm not going to check in here if the, you know, I'm not going to check in here if the, if the internet doesn't work. Like, this was a major requirement for us. We asked three times. You literally lied to our face, right? So, you know, she's just like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to check you in. I have to check you in. I have to charge you. If you stay here, you don't stay here. It doesn't matter. I have to charge you. I'm like, you have to charge me. I haven't even sat in the room yet. What do you mean you have to charge me? That's insane. And let me tell you, this shit was expensive chat. Okay. This was expensive. expensive. It was like 500 euros a night. Okay. That's like, yeah, no thanks. Okay. Not happening. Get the fuck out of here. So I'm going to rush. I'm literally like going up to hotel lobbies with internet speed test on my phone, the application, and just hitting internet speed test, go over and over again, trying to figure it out. I'm going to panic. I'm like running around with my laptop in hand because now I'm like scared. What if there's another firewall? What if all these motherfuckers are doing this like weird rug pull shit? So I'm like trying to literally go on OBS and do a broadband test and shit. I'm trying to go on OBS, do broadband tests in the hotel lobby. Like, that's how invested I am. I ran around the entire goddamn island. I finally found this, like, 1960s, brutalist, Soviet Yugoslavia-ass resort. And the hotel room, when I first walked in here, this is the hotel room, smelled like straight sausages, bro. And it wasn't just me. The dude that came in, okay? The dude that came into the hotel room goes, oh, and I was like, it smells like sausages, right? And he's like, yes, it smells like sausage. And I was just like, dude, we got to fix this shit. So he's just spraying around. You know what I mean? He's just going to town, spraying this shit. And, but honestly, I ran around town with my goddamn laptop, got all the shit out of there, got Marat to tell the woman, like, fuck off. You know what I mean? Because it's just like ridiculous. She's like, no, I'm still going to charge you. It's like, no, you're not. You better not. I'm declining that shit instantaneously. I'm disputing that shit. Anyway, that's the situation on hand, okay? That's the amount of dedication and the work that goes into trying to put a goddamn stream together. And as you can see, I had to do this like crazy contraption shit. You can't probably tell. So I had to do it like this. Does it still smell like sausage? I honestly don't know if it still smells like sausage. Like I can't either my nose got used to it or it doesn't smell like sausage any longer. Either or it doesn't matter. 
I might just be nose blind. Yeah, like who knows, right? How big is the island you're on? She might mobilize the locals and come after you. Bro, every island we go to, by the way, everybody knows each other. It's crazy. There's like eight people living on these islands, you know? I worked in a hotel here. Most hotels in Croatia have a 100% charging rate if you don't cancel at least 48 hours before arrival. Yeah, that's ridiculous because I booked it the morning. Like, what do you mean? I booked it this morning and also I can't, didn't even cancel it. I like I went, I wanted to stay there. It's false advertising. I'm, I'm an American, goddammit. It was pretty wild because she like, she just straight up lied in like the funniest way possible, in my opinion. I'm just like picturing this 50 year old woman being like 100, 140 down 80 up what you mean like we got steady broadband up in this bitch are you crazy and then we show up and she's like yeah i was just saying some numbers like i don't know what the f that is dummy <laughs> and i guess like for them you know she's just like what are you gonna do go to another island dumbass right like <laughs> she's right she doesn't know what kind of a freak i am though she probably didn't think i'd be running around the goddamn island going to every hotel room i was like literally checking multiple rooms and in, in hotels like trying to see if i can she can't match my freak that's what i'm saying i was speed testing left and right i was going crazy mode dude she doesn't know that i'm insane exactly she thought you know i'm just some dumb american tourist probably has to do business calls or whatever them right also i saw this cute ass cat by the way so that was pretty cool look at how good she's posing Yo, I swear to God, the Croatian islands and shit and like even Dubrovnik is like made me feel as though this is like not a properly developed country. I feel like if I go to mainland Croatia, like, you know, where everyone is, what is it called? Zangief or whatever, like that Street Fighter character. Like it's probably very different vibes out there. So I apologize. So I apologize to all my Croatian Hasanabi heads out there. I feel like I'm not, I'm only seeing like the tourist shit. So it just feels so different. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the food is like, like I said, I don't eat seafood, right? So it's a little different for me. Um, But like the steaks and shit that I've had are pretty decent. The median monthly salary after taxes in Croatia is uh, 1,059 euros and the prices of goods are the same as in Norway. It's so shit to live here. Yeah, I've heard that. I've been asking people about that. From what I understand, it's just like you don't make a lot of money and, and the cost of living is pretty f high. So a lot of people that have the opportunity to leave go to like Germany and shit. I don't know what this cam angle is, but it reminds me of the OG Azan days. Yeah. What kind of stuff have you been eating? Just like a lot of... Like I've been eating whatever the f hotel room service is for the most part. And it's like the meat quality is pretty high here. So that's good. I've been eating like turkey medallions. It's just like chunks of turkey breast. That's pretty good. I've had a bunch of steak. Coffee's pretty good here. Maybe because it's so goddamn close to Italy. I wouldn't say that like I've eaten anything that is like a straightforward banger. Like I, I have yet to have something where I'm like, damn, like this is, you know, incredible mcdonald's no i have not seen a single mcdonald's actually out here i haven't seen a single goddamn kfc or pizza hut out here actually i'm cooked right now this is the only water that they have in this hotel room and i don't think this 1967 communist soviet era hotel has room service i might die i'm so parched the tap water in croatia is drinkable fool bro i don't know about that is it actually don't know. I mean, I probably will have to. I probably will have to inevitably drink it because otherwise I'm going to die. So Uber Eats, brother, I don't think you understand. When I say I'm on a f island, I mean like literally I'm on a f island. Okay. There is no Uber Eats out here. There's no Uber Eats in Croatia in general, but I downloaded the Croatian Uber Eats, which is called like Wudu or some shit. Glovo. There's two different Uber Eats out here. Glovo and Volt. Neither of which work on the island. I already checked.